Well, hello there. Hey guys, welcome back to Pokey Oracle. So I have noticed something. You guys really seem to enjoy the Pokemon Rement figurine opening. And I thought we could open up another perfume set. This one is super cute. I can't wait to show you guys. If you do enjoy this video, let me know by commenting down below which one is your favorite in today's opening and hit the like button and subscribe with the little notification bell to be notified every time I post a video. So let's just get right into it. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to open this. I decided to open this particular set because I have noticed, ah, see it has been broken, that you guys really seem to enjoy my very first Rement opening. That was the third video I had ever made and I just thought it might be time to open up another perfume set. So here we go. I'm just gonna take them all out of the box, do something a little different today. Ooh, so here we go, let's start with this one here. Now I will say there are three, or well maybe four, that I am particularly excited about that I've seen on the box. So if you don't know, these are the Rement perfume bottles. You cannot hold perfume in these. These are just pure decoration. This is the Petite Fleur Rement Pokemon set. So with every little toy or gadget or whatever, you get a little guide to show you what's in here. And then, oh. Well, normally you get a piece of <laughs> a piece of apple gum, but I guess we're not getting that today. So what you normally have to do is disassemble this. Sorry, I was painting my toes the other day, so I have a little nail polish on my fingers. Um, so normally you have to disassemble this to get into the actual product. So there is a little ring here that you need to pop off, boop, just like that. And then this part comes off, little clear piece. And all of this comes out. So this is the decorative background. It is yellow. And oh, it looks like the flowers are already on there. That is super cute. And then we have, who we got here? This little guy. So we have a little shame in here. Come on camera, boop boop. So he is little and oh, isn't he adorable? Let's see, oh my gosh. Okay, let's assemble this. So normally they have a little hole in their foot or their bum or something. You can see there is a little rod here where you just pop them right in. So there is Shaman. He's just sniffing all the flowers. And to put it all back together, you have the backing piece here and you just go bloop, just like that. And then you have the front piece. Here is Shaman. It took a little bit of elbow grease to really get him in there. And then you wanna take that little ring that we took off in the beginning, pop that on the bottom. Just helps prevent it from falling totally apart. And then you have the little topper. Oh, it's like a little flower. But the final piece to help keep it all sealed is their little name tag. See? It says Shaman. So we're gonna take this out. And you can do this if you want. I like to do it just because I feel like it completes the set and ties in the entire little toy. So remember the little ring? Well, you can make sure it stays on there by putting on their little name sticker. I think that is the cutest little idea. It keeps it all in place and then it won't fall apart on you. Let's go on to the next one. Here we go. Now I do have to admit this is one of my favorite Rement sets and yeah we're not getting the gum today. How strange. 
these perfume sets are so cute. Ooh, looks like we have dragon air in this one. We're gonna pop the top, it's like a little pearl. And then take off the top here. Oh, look at how pretty these flowers are. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. I think so far this is my favorite. And let's get little dragon air. I noticed there's a little line here in her tail that they had to glue on. Very interesting. There's the little hole there for her to sit on and the little pole for it to go into. We'll just pop it in right there. I thought they don't really stick too well. You either have to glue it, which I normally do, or you just have to be super duper delicate. So then we put on the top, put the ring on first. Never want to forget that little piece and then put on the top. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. But to make sure it's complete, we have to put on the sticker on the bottom. So I guess in Japan they call Dragonair Hakuryu. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. And then put it right on the bottom to complete our figurine. Just like that. Super cute. So far, Dragonair is my favorite. Oh my gosh. Next, oh, we have Pikachu and Pichu. So same thing, we will pop off the, ooh, pop off the top. I always forget about that darn little ring. Here, get these two out of here. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. There's the little berries, and then are these like carnations? And it goes something like, oh my gosh, it's so cute, you guys. I really love putting these together myself because to me, it feels like it's a fun little project that really anybody can do. Put on the ring, the top there, and in Japan, they call Pikachu. Pikachu and Pichu. <laughs> Same thing as we call it here. Okay, so then pop on the sticker. Boop. And, oop, there we go. And completed, how cute is that? I don't know, that's a pretty close runner up for my favorite. What do you guys think so far? Which one's your favorite? Ooh, we have so let's take the top off here. Has a little pearl top just like Dragonair did. Oh, I love the cherry blossoms. How cute is that? And it matches with Mew. So Mew's looking a little deflated. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It looks really funny, but we're... <laughs> <laughs> Poor Mew. Now that I look at it, Mew looks actually pretty darn angry. <laughs> it's making me crack up, so. <laughs> and then the little name tag. Place it right there. Looks good to me. And Mew is completed. How cute. Oh my goodness. I love the round bottles. I really, or the more like pear-shaped bottles. Those are some of my favorite. So this one I am most excited for. This is Umbreon. I'm so stoked for this one, you guys. Okay. Ooh, look at those flowers. How pretty is that? I really like the black flowers that they incorporated in there just because it's something you don't see very often. And then we have Umbreon here. Oh, how sweet. So here's Umbreon. I do like that they made Umbreon a little lighter than the black flowers, as you can see. And there is Umbreon there. How cute is that? So now, put on the top. Oh my gosh, it is so adorable. The top for this one is a little different. I can't just put this on top of here. There is a little quote unquote spray part that you put on first, and then you put that on top there. 
How cute is that? Now in Japan, they don't call Umbreon Umbreon. They call Umbreon Blackie. So we are gonna put Umbreon's name at the bottom. My grandpa's nickname was Blackie growing up because his hair was as black as black could be. So I always think of my grandpa whenever I see Umbreon because of Umbreon's Japanese name. So this is our last one. Which one could it be? Hmm. Ooh, oh it's Vulpix. Okie dokie, let's pop this open. Has the same little gadgets as the fur or as Umbreon. Look at the flowers. Oh my gosh. I love the autumn theme. Now I will say the paint job for these is actually very good. So let's get Vulpix in. Ooh, that actually went in super nice. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Oh, Vulpix. It is a close first, actually. <laughs> oh man, let's get her all assembled here with a little perfume top. Boop. So it looks like Vulpix's name in Japan is Rokan. How interesting. I think it's really cool to be able to see the different names that the Japanese call Pokemon. I don't know, I just, I like how it's never really the same. So here is Umbreon and Vulpix. Here's Shaman and Pikachu and Pichu. I like how they all have their own little matching bottles. And then last but not least, we have Dragonair and Mew. How cute, oh my gosh. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this opening as much as I did. I have to say the Mew, the Grumpy Mew is my favorite because of the cherry blossoms. And don't forget if you do like this type of content, go ahead and follow me over on Twitch. I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday starting at 5 p.m. So thank you again so much for watching and I will see you guys next Thursday at 3 here on Pokey Oracle. Goodbye! <laughs> I know we went down you know here. No way up. Right. Boy, I'm about to kick you so far up your butt you'll reach Valhalla, trust me. Ha <laughs>